So in the 70s, Ford brought out an engine called the Pinto. It was used in a variety of cars, Escorts, Cortinas, things like that. Later on, Ford sent the engine to Cosworth for development to make it more powerful to go racing. So the boys at Cosworth put a 16-valve head on, bolted a turbo to it, and that was born the Cosworth YB engine. It's a Ford Pinto bottom end with a 16-valve head and a turbo. The engine was used, the Cosworth YB engine was used in... It was first introduced in the Sierra Cosworth. It was then came out in the Sierra RS500. The engine was then put into the Sierra Sapphire, the four-wheel drive Sapphire, then the Escort Cosworth big turbo, then the Escort Cosworth small turbo. Now, when this engine was being developed, obviously they built different engines, and we're going to see one of the development engines that is in between, well, even before they built the Cosworth YB, this was kind of the development engine, so they were maybe testing out different turbos, different heads, seeing what worked. So we're going to see an ultra rare, unbelievable find of a prototype Cosworth engine. It's at Paul Linfoot Racing. So, let's go. I'm down Paul Linfoot Racing, the home of anything Sierra RS500. Paul has got quite a special engine in. Now, you see a lot of Cosworth engines, mate. You're leaning against one there. Yeah, a couple here. Yep. Is that a three-door Cosworth? No, that's a 500 engine, Is but it? somebody's taken the proper manly turbo off and put a very, very... Small one on. Yeah. So that is what you see in most Cosworths, a basic kind of setup, albeit similar, slight changes, turbos, yeah. engine blocks, but generally looks generally the same. Generally, they all look the same, yeah. This is something you've just picked up. Yeah, it, I was approached by a guy a couple of years ago, said I've got an original prototype Cosworth engine before the, they were released, the original one, and uh, are you interested in buying it? And I, he sent me some pictures and I said, yeah, it's a cool thing. Ah. I said, but the money he was asking for it at the time, I said, no, I'm not interested simply uh -huh. because you couldn't use it. Oh, it'll run, it'll run. I said, yeah, but the problem is if you blow it up, you, you, you've knackered it. it. So I said, really, it's what I call a boat anchor. You know, all that is, is a display item. Which, Aye, exactly what it is, a display item, yeah, isn't it? A cool display item, don't get me wrong, but... You can only put a certain value on something, can't you, that mm -hmm. you can't ever use. So anyway, we couldn't agree on a price and, and I heard no more about it really. And um, it was probably even a couple of years later, he came back to me and said, does your offer still stand for that Y? And I can't remember what it's called now. We said earlier, didn't we? It's called a Y B A engine. Right. Um, and I said, yeah, I'm interested in it. Made him another offer. Deal was done. So I drove down and picked it up. And it's cool, isn't it? Aye, so cool. So, so what, what there is, so we found this, this information. So the original prototypes, there was three built. They were called a YAA Cosworth engine. Uh -huh. and they're 1993cc and all the information, it says description, in-house project, 16-valve twin cam belt driven on Pinto block for small manufacturers, three units built. Then a YBA in 1984, again a 1993cc, 200 brake horsepower, prototype YBB, 10 units built. Well, this is number four, because it's got number four stamped in there. Oh, that's right. And then the next one says a YBB, which was a 1985 engine, turbo YAA commissioned by Ford Sierra RS Cosworth, 5,000 um, units built. So, and then obviously we found this picture on the internet, which you can clearly see. Look at the rocker cover. Uh-huh. Is that engine? Aye. And you can see they went to a tubular manifold, but look at that. You can actually see that the inlet manifold is an aluminium manufactured. So like a prototype, just box welded up uh -huh. out of aluminium. But if you look closely there, you can see that. And it's actually Mercedes. The, different oh, is that actually a Mercedes badge? Yeah, so it they've is. obviously just found one that fitted, haven't they? But you know, there's things like look at that cutout in the cylinder head there, and it's there. Is that not on a Cosworth head? No, that that's not there. there. That is not there, no. And that hole at the back there, mm -hmm. that's got a bung in it now. Mm -hmm. I was so, going to there's still a little plug there on a Cosworth yeah, head there. And then obviously, the, the, the one major difference is because obviously, there's a few prototypes. They put the thermostat there. Well, obviously, on the, oh, on the right. later ones, it was moved to there. Moved to the front. Yeah. So it's quite a... Interesting thing. Yeah, a nice piece of history, isn't it? So I bought it. What I'm going to do is um, 
paint it all up, make it look nice. I'm going to get an inlet manifold made that copies that one, mm -hmm. a manufactured one. I've got a tubular manifold behind you there, which is slightly different, but it's a starting point, and I'll put a T3 turbo on it, mm -hmm. get it all painted up, and I thought, what a nice thing to take to, to show. Car shows and yeah, stuff Yeah, take it to NEC, leave it on an engine stand. and But you can clearly see, look at them, the cam pulleys is the same. Mm -hmm. Well, you can't because that's got a belt on, no, but with, uh, anybody who knows, that it's the same cam pulleys, the same... Tension of the, 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 the um, that's the same. Obviously, it's got a different bottom pulley on it because obviously, when they went into the Cosworth, they ran power steering and an alternator, so they had to have a, a three belt, uh -huh. a three belt pulley. Got to be fat on a stick, exactly. say there. Mm. Yeah, yep. But everything else you can clearly see is I quite like the rocker cover, to be honest. I do, I like that rocker cover. The one with the Cosworth in was a, a good uh, exchange because it has the Cosworth and that written in it, but. It's just a cool, cool piece thing, of isn't it? Yeah, I love it. I, I love stuff like that. Aye, different. I would, you know, put, I'll, when I've done it, I'll put it in my memorabilia room mm -hmm. and leave it in there Aye. and then just, like I said, take it to shows. And But you can see there, that's exactly the same as, as the modern Cosworth. Uh -huh. The other side's the same. But you can see just, you know, like I say, slight differences. Like, you know, that there obviously was changed from mm -hmm. the original, but you can see even the gaskets look the same. Oh, right, aye, the exhaust gasket, the inlet yeah, gasket, yeah, exhaust, uh, exhaust gasket, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Aye. So do you know if it's ever ran? Oh, yeah, this was running. This was in a car. Was the it? The guy I bought it off found it in a car. With the turbo on? Uh, he never said, actually. He never said a thing. I, I think probably the turbo maybe has long gone and maybe mm -hmm. put a different... I don't know. I didn't really, to be fair, ask many questions. I just sort of said... He sent me a quick photograph of it. I Googled it, found it was genuine prototype engine and thought well like i say we haggled on the price because mm -hmm. he wanted what i considered to be way too much for it to be to be a boat anchor showpiece but then when he came down to a accepted another offer that i believe to be fair. in my opinion a fair price for what it was i thought you know what? i'd like that all right i'd like that like it's got a steel sump on it not an alley one all right i think somewhere along the line um, we did have some more pictures, but I don't know what we did with them, to be honest. See the standard sump there on a Cosworth. There's Compared a few more this, pictures uh, online of it, but... I'll leave some links in the um, video of this. I'll leave some links in the description of this video to some information on this engine, if anyone wants to read up more on it. Yeah, just cool, isn't it? some weld marks on the head and that. Yeah, well, there's something. another picture that we found, but I can't find it on my phone, where you could see something there. Right. Something coming out. So they've obviously decided, right, let's do away with that, and they've welded it up. Right. Um, but you can see it clearly on one of the other photographs. Cool, mate. It's just nice. And the good thing is, the rocker covers in fairly good nick. Aye. So I don't have to have it refurbished. No. I'll just leave it. Leave it it obviously it looks like there's been a plaque there. Look. Uh huh. Oh, I right, right. What, I don't know what that said, but I might see if I can match the colour. If I can match the colour perfectly, then I'll get it refurbished. Mm -hmm. and Get our listing plated again. And yeah, stuff like just snazz it all up. And do you think that's meant to say oil, but in a different, in German or something? O E L, oil. <laughs> either that or they were just dyslexic. <laughs> maybe, yeah. maybe. Just, a, just something Aye. different, isn't it? Because as you know, cool. when we go to the NEC, we have that cutaway mm -hmm. Cosworth engine, So we just thought how nice it is to have like a cutaway finished Cosworth engine, the production one. Uh -huh. And a prototype one. Ah, cool, mate. I can see why you wanted it. Yeah, I'm going to put a distributor and that in it and sort of make it more complete. Aye. And just get a girly T3 turbo for it. Because I don't, you can see on this picture, I don't even think it's probably a, a T3. Oh, hang on. It's a really, really small turbo. Quite it's a funny looking turbo, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Look at that back housing and that. I don't quite know what that is. Um, it's quite a small turbo. Aye. But you can see there as well, the sump is a steel sump. And you can see it is there. And you can see there where they've welded up that hole, look. Oh, they've right. welded up. Then they've just chopped it out and welded it in. Yeah. I see why you wanted it. You know what I'm like when, right. we daff I'm little, the same. when we daff little things and just things of what I call interest. Well, they're important, aren't they? Aye. You can't see it because of engine noise, but you can even see it's the right crank. Because uh -huh. um, obviously the Cosworth went onto a nine bolt crank, mm -hmm. and this is a six bolt crank, and that's six bolt with that extra dowel in it. So oh, even right. that tallies up perfect. We know it's hundred percent the engine. Uh -huh. There's no doubt, like, but just um, cool. It, it's nice. I think when you find something of history, 
to absolutely verify things when you see things like that that uh -huh. match original press pictures and things you nobody can question uh -huh. and that's the, the nice thing about it cheers for showing us it mate that's it fellas thanks for watching and yet again massive thanks to paul for letting us have a look around his workshop all, all his cool stuff if you do have anything cool old interesting cause with related you want to sell don't message paul message me i'm interested in, <laughs> i'm interested in anything like this but yet again mate thanks for taking your time out and showing no, us around no problem I'll leave some contact information below for Paul if you've got anything Cosworth related you want to buy, sell, whatever. I'm your man, not uh, him. But uh, yeah, again, fellas, thanks for watching. I'll catch us on the next one. Cheers.